Hello, big high five from Moscow. It's uh, Professor Hal here. Again, uh, second video for Bode's birthday, but also Betty and Bibi, the science is for you too. Um, I thought I'd show you some solid carbon dioxide. This is solid carbon dioxide. You can see there, it looks like ice. And um, so, uh, matter exists in three states, solids, liquids, and gases. Ice, water, steam. Uh, solids melt to give liquids, liquids boil to give gases. Gases condense back into liquids and liquids freeze into solids. That's the rule and this is the exception. This is solid carbon dioxide and it goes straight from a solid to a gas. It's called sublimation and it's very, very unusual. And it does this at a very low temperature. It does it at minus 78 degrees. So the reason I can hold it in my hands is called the Leidenfrost effect and I certainly shouldn't put it in my mouth because then the really hurt. Actually, no, it didn't, but don't follow my lead. Be responsible with chemicals. We can do some really interesting science with carbon dioxide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the CO2 down. I'm just going to pour some hot water into this uh, round bottom flask. I'm going to do that for a reason, because we're going to illustrate that solids take up more space than, sorry, take up less space than liquids or gases, gases in particular. And I've put in some boiling water, and what I'm going to do is put a handful of carbon dioxide in. So I'm going to put one big handful of carbon dioxide into the flask, then it goes, and straight away we've got some nice white vapour, that's actually water vapour, that's been caused by the carbon dioxide. But you can see that the glove's being blown up, and that one handful of CO2 is causing much more than a handful of gas. And, of course, yes, the balloon bursts. The white stuff is va water vapour. It's actually synthetic clouds caused by the cold CO2. But best of all, you can see that the CO2 is going straight from a solid to a gas. Very, very unusual. Once again, we do these experiments so you don't have to. Don't try this at home, but do look up carbon dioxide and sublimation on Wikipedia and learn more about it. More where that came from, stay tuned.